first things first. Um, should we do this? I'm going to leave this up, up to you. Uh, would you like us to do, would you like me to take up the usual format and make it sort of half formal where I have a structure and I throw questions at you and I treat you like a guest that I need to make blush? Or would you rather it be just very informal and structured and we just hit whatever comes? Eh, just YOLO it. L YOLO, cool. <laughs> Fab. Right. First things first is I'm always baffled by anyone that plays outside of France or Morocco. And I understand that you are from the UK. How the hell did you find out about the game to begin with? Oh. Yeah, I've seen other people's stories like this. It's ages ago. I mean, I, I started playing Rushu Beta Time, like when it first came out in international stuff. And I definitely didn't find it myself. It was definitely a friend at school told me about it. Okay. There was there was three of us. One of one of which I, I don't think plays anymore. The original person doesn't play at all anymore. And I haven't kept up with him. It's been like what twenty years. Mm -hmm. um, but the other one plays every now and then. He's he's moved to Australia, and I talk to him every now and then. And he he plays in bursts like everyone else, right? <laughs> Comes yes. in, plays what plays whatever, and then life happens and. Like <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he the other friend that doesn't play, he just told us both about it, and I've no idea where he heard it from. <laughs> was he French by any chance, or did he have any French connection? No, no, no all English, oh. all okay. English schoolboys, apparently just somehow being told about a French MMO. Awesome, awesome. Tells you there's demand for it, and yeah, I'm always surprised by the fact that anybody else that is not French plays it because of the barrier to entry, all the comms, everything is sort of designed for French people, yet <laughs> we really like it. Yeah. I, mean, I remember uh, other people saying like their entire class played it. That definitely wasn't the case. It was just three of us, <laughs> probably in the entire school. Wow, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't I, think anybody else picked it up and we didn't really shout about it. I think it was Eslix that said his entire classroom would play it and they would have little challenges and then he would stay up all night trying to grind the level so that they could carry on the conversation later on. <laughs> Surprising for the Netherlands, which is, well, it's close to France, I imagine. Cool, 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 cool. And so you said you played since Rushu. Is that literally when the first international server opened? Yeah, from what I can remember. Not that I can remember much happening then, but that's when I started playing. First class? Do I need to even ask? Do, we, do I even need to say it? Come on. Go on. <laughs> Zella the entire way. Oh, well, a nice. little bit of a lie. There was a bit <laughs> when like I got bored and I swapped it to an Eka, but then I got bored and I swapped it back and then stopped playing. <laughs> wow. And then you returned straight back yeah, to Yeah, and then Zella. I returned. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. I mean, um, yeah, I, I, I played loads and then... You know, life happens and you stop playing for a bit. But then I, I definitely remember stopping playing on purpose. Just did not enjoy the game when Idols came out. Oh yeah, like, that was the first time I fully went, uninstall it from my PC. I will not even play it. I will just walk away and do other other games and other stuff. Wow, that is serious. Wow. Yeah, and then like a couple of years later, I'm like, eh, I'll just install it back again, and then I'll log in every now and then and. Make Does sure my accounts don't go anything to do with pandemic by any chance. That bit that you just described there. No, I mean that was when did when did idols come in? Nine years ago, ten years ago. When did idols come in? I'm not entirely sure, honestly. I've completely missed that whole episode. So when I came back, it was 2014. There you go. Yeah, about ten years ago. Then yeah. So that's that's when I stopped playing. I did try and play again during the pandemic, mm -hmm. but um. I remember trying to log back on again and the servers were just dead all the time. And I went, all oh, right, I'll just, I'll not then. And then I played. Dead Destiny as in they won't let you log in or dead as in nobody's in there? Oh no, as in they were clearly having a boom. Lots of people were trying to play. Of and course. they couldn't, you know, they hadn't scaled their servers up enough yet. And I was yeah. like, ah, I can't join. So I, I just, I just couldn't be bothered. So I didn't. Makes sense. Yeah. And then I focused more on playing pretty much Destiny in between. Destiny, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we're going to mention that sometime later on in this conversation. <laughs> but there, I have this vague memory from about, I don't know, when it happened. But uh, what, one of the things that everybody knows about me is that I'm a Reddit geek. It's one of the, it's literally the only social media app that I use. Or every other one, I log in with a purpose to make a post and then get out of there, like Twitter mm. and stuff like that. 
Whereas Reddit is a hangout place for me. I've got all of my people there, sort of little forums and stuff like that. So I know it like a place that I go to regularly. And one of the things I do on the Dofus um, subreddit is that I sort of read every post. I go back, I search things and see who posted what. And I think I've seen your name pop up some year and a half ago about something called LFG, looking for group. And then I've completely zapped it out. And then yeah. fast forward six months later, I've started streaming. And then I fire up my stream, I'm doing my thing to the three people that magically decided to come and watch. <laughs> and then this guy subscribes and I see the name. And I'm like, what? I recognize this from somewhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I open my Reddit and I, I go down the rabbit hole trying to find whether that thought was founded or not. And then I found that it was you, the author of LFG. And then you <laughs> sent me a message on Discord and that's how a beautiful friendship and conversation started. Is that your re recollection of it? Or can you tell us how you remember things being about six, seven months ago? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at my, my, my Reddit post history and it was mm -hmm. nine months ago I posted about my LFG bot. Which, for people that don't know what LFG is, it's outside of the um, Dofus gaming space. Every other gaming space uses LFG as a as a term for looking for group. It means you want other people mm. to come and help you. Um, awesome, which is something that I, we do have here. We need people to help you with groups and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, so nine months ago I posted the... Uh, the, the, the Reddit post, which was me trying to, I'd made a bot for Discord that is, is, is like organizes events and um, messages people when the events happen. Yeah. So the idea being that if you if you wanted to start a dungeon on Friday, you know, adults have schedules, so it's like, oh, I'll, I'll I need I need to do this dungeon for a quest. I'll plan it for Friday. Uh, the bot, you tell the bot you want it to do it for Friday. Other people can join, and then the bot will tell you when it happens, and then all that stuff. That was that was the original. Yeah. Goal when I came back, I was like, oh, I want to make this tool because, as I talked about before, Destiny has all these tools uh, uh -huh. that the community has made for that game. And I'm like, you know what? I'll make I'll make one for this. And I looked at the source and I started working on that for three months before posting this this uh, Reddit post. Yeah. So yeah, I, I was... think it was because I joined your Discord and you were like, who the hell joins this dad Discord <laughs> that you created? <laughs> yeah. The link yeah. here. And then I connected the one and one and that I joined it because you subscribed on the channel and I thought, huh, I remember going and seeing this post and then I saw the link and I was like, let's see if this is an active thing that I could participate in or whatever. <laughs> and then boom. <laughs> yeah. Can yeah, I mean, that's pretty what? much what happened. Yeah, you, you, you joined. I think you joined and then immediately left when you realized like the, the discord for the LFG bot was mm. never, I never really intended to make my own discord for it, but... Uh -huh, uh -huh. No one wanted to pick it up, which I'll talk about in a minute. Yeah. But yeah, you joined, and then I'm like, I know that guy from, from the stream I watched. <laughs> Went to message you, but you'd left the Discord already. Yeah. So then I had to chase you down, and then I poked you on, on Discord. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. I mean, same thing. That's how I re remember it as well. Uh, the yeah. um, I suppose we're talking about making bots. LFG, Destiny, we've put so many things out there and I sort of want you to just give us a bit of context in as much detail as you want about you as a person. Who is Gluto? How does he make <laughs> bots? Why, why do you have a fascination with making bots at all? Why are you part of Discord Reddit culture? What the hell is Destiny and gaming in general? Can you just give us in as much detail as you want some sort of story about you as a person and your relationship to gaming so that we can move on to LFG and segue later? Yeah, I mean, I'm a programmer and game dev by profession. So my, my day job is making coding things in the usually within the gaming industry so lots of discord things and back end and, and how to make pretty things well other, other people that make the pretty things how to make that work i don't do the pretty things <laughs> no i'm not i'm not artist yeah so yeah i mean i've been i've, I've been here for a long time now i mean uh graduated uni what 2014 ish oh so, yeah so what a way ago. to make us feel old. <laughs> yeah, long, long time ago. Um, and and yeah, I'd been playing Destiny pretty much the entire time 
since since being in the in the real the real adult world of having a job. Uh, and those they they those those guys that Bungie that make Destiny are, are brilliant in terms of technology and back end stuff. They they allow their community to make so many amazing tools because they've got the experience and the know how and they've they've set up all this stuff that everybody else can extend for you. You're failing at this quiz. Oh my god! Are you, are you watching? <laughs> Holy <Yes. shit. laughs> it's not. I, honestly, this is one of the boss that Gluto has made, and it is me, it's a good way of making me feel inadequate about my spelling of everything. <laughs> Literally. Is it the furious one? That is the question. Furious. Is it the furious whitish? I thought I knew how to spell things. Hey, let's go. Thanks for the it's... points, Eslix. <laughs> I realized that I knew this. I knew the name of everything, but only vaguely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that silly interruption, <laughs> or or timely interruption. So you said you are developer by trade. That's what you do for a living right now, and yep. you're a gamer and has have always been. You said Destiny is your other drug of choice. Yeah, not so much at the moment. I mean, it's a it's a it's a very old game, not as old as as Dofus, but very old game, and it's it's winding down in its end point. So it's a, I've not enjoying that as much, and as you do, you know, I mean. Most people that play Dofus only play Dofus, but it's the same kind of idea as Destiny, where you know oh. it's the one game you play when you play it. It's that's how it works. So, is there a pattern not... of you just playing dead games? <laughs> it's, it's, Destiny's not a dead game by far. It's just <laughs> it's, when, when a game is all consuming and, and you're not enjoying it right now, you go and jump to something else. Fair enough. Yeah, with, I know that with feeling. Dofus always being uh, the game that I've fallen back on and enjoyed in the different aspects. Nice. Yeah, as they I, say, I, I nobody really quits it. <laughs> no, one, no, no one ever quits. No one really quits, Dofus, yeah. Come back at some point. So, Destin, you've mentioned that they do have tools. The company behind the game is good at making tools that um, its users, or rather the player base, is able to use when they're not logged into the game. Is that Did I get that right? Uh, kind of, while, while they're logged into the game. they They have a lot of... Of tools that help them play the game while they're playing it. Uh -huh. So I think I told you before with with the example of like the inventory, they have inventory management tools. So their inventory in in the Destiny game there is is it's loaded from some database in the back end, and you you see that when you play the game. Which also means that people can make tools that you open in your browser, and you can edit your in inventory in the browser, and it syncs it to the game in real time, and it's wow. extremely impressive. Like that, that's the kind of stuff that when you make your game with this in mind, bear in mind that Dofus is twice the age of the Destiny franchise. Mm. <laughs> like it's, there's a, there's a lot of experience and stuff in between yeah. of these two games. So uh, I think you've showed me the ability to trade someone without being logged in. Because as you said, it's just a data transfer. You just yeah, it, it wasn't and... trading, it was, mm. it was taking, so for, for a Dofus example, taking an in equipment item out of your bank and putting it on your character. Oh wow! Using a using a browser website. I mean, wh why would you want to do that in Dofus? What circumstances would you use that sort of tech, even if we had it right now? Um, you're I in know, the you're train, outside you're a going dungeon, somewhere? and you go. I left my axe in the bank. Oh. You just pull it out. You can pull it out of the without having to go to the bank. Dofus Touch does a similar setup, right? Where they they don't, yes. you don't require to go into the building. To access your bank. Quite right. In Dofus Touch, you go to your inventory and you have a little button called bank. And uh, the other thing is the markets, they've dematerialized them. You can still go and click on a physical place to open the market. But they have also done the same thing with them where you have a little karma sign that you press and then you can just sell stuff, buy stuff, whether you're in a dungeon, whether you're anywhere. That is definitely yeah. cool. Yeah, so so Destiny just or Bungie, the developers, they just extrapolated that an extra step further from what Dofus Touch does, where the 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 inventories now exist only as a as data, and then you just have to sign in with your account through different means. You say this website, I give you permission to manage my inventory for me, and then you can do it. And are those websites made by the company itself, or is it uh, sort of community led, where you could make a website to manage that? 
the the most popular one that I used is is open source community developed. I imagine that a lot of Bungie developers help because uh-huh. it's in their in in their interest to help. And, but, and their um, best interest to make it secure if they want to keep that thing open. Yeah, and just you know, if if that tool gets better, then everybody's experience with the game gets better, and everyone's happy and carries on playing and paying more. So it makes sense to to help the guys out. Fair enough. Whether or not they do it officially or not, I'm not sure, but. Yeah. And what would you say are some of the top tools? Because we know that you have been developing a lot of things. And every time I go to the Tech Talk channel, it feels like I've walked into a peculiar kind of room. I don't know what's happening. I can see numbers and letters. I recognize English, but that's about the full extent of it. And I have absolutely no idea what you're cooking in the background. And I'm wondering, would you be able to give us a rundown? I've made a little list of your uh, top four hits, as I like to call them, on the Discord. The top four most used bots. And you can tell us more about We won't talk about the LFG bot. That one's currently been killed. (laughs) It's dead. (laughs) Deep fried. Uh, Would you like to tell us about what, what your estimate of... Because obviously, when you're a developer, you have a vision for what people might want. And then you've made those things. And I know that you've certainly made more than four, but only a handful of them are being used consistently the way you've envisioned it. Can you give us a rundown of what you were imagining, what you've done and what came out of it at the end? I mean, the, the quickest one that I made was probably the um, the spin one, which uh, dove face, I think I called it, where you, you just give somebody, uh, you put someone's character URL in, uh-huh. And then it, it, it takes the picture from the web page of the character URL. Right, let's, let's run create... a quick test. Where do I go to get my uh, characters you can do, URL? You, do, you can do it in-game. If you just go right. to your character in-game. Uh-huh. Uh, right-click them. Oh, right-click. Or click. left-click them. Left-click uh, right them. Click. Maybe it has to be somebody else. Yes, you can do it with Give other characters if they're on and stuff like that. Yeah, don't go to uh, your friends list. Let's go with Zach. <laughs> character and page. You, yeah, information, character page. There it is. Boom. We've yeah. got him. And then you just copy the link from the top. Mm-hmm. And then slash... you can see you can see the picture there of the of the character. Oh yeah. This this picture right here. Yep, the pink sack. And then you just paste the link. It's thinking. Oh, it has PM'd me. <laughs> oh, a frontal yeah. photo of the character. <laughs> yeah. Seemingly is different from the website, which is impressive. Yeah. Yeah, and then if you do the, the spin one, that one's the... Um... Spin, same. We're taking you for and a it... spin, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is one of the coolest things I have seen in a while once you released it. And there was a massive influx of people who were coming into the Discord just to spin their characters. <laughs> yeah, that was quite nice. That was a fun one. That is remarkable. And you said I can't you remember how that even came around. <laughs> right, um, I know how I, I, I did it based off of because the LFG bot, most of the bots I made it was splitting up the all the work I'd done during the LFG to learn... Learn the Discord bot tech and learn all the how Ankama works with their website and stuff. Nice. Most of it was just because I can do a turnaround quickly is because I spent all the time already learning it. Yeah. But for that one, I think I found out that you could use the character page instead of the Ankama public account page because people got scared of the having to put your Ankama account public profile in instead of your mm. character page profile. Because you can go yeah. to your like if you go to your um, the dofus.com website, you can get to the same image of your character, mm-hmm. or or a similar image. It's a front a front facing one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, you yeah. sign in and go to your public account, and then you see it that way. Yeah, yeah. So. You're absolutely right, Chavi. This chap right here in his basement is making tools that are so amazing and a big ass company is reluctant to make tools that would just make multi-account and other stuff. It is it is what it is. But I'm, we're trying to bring to light some of the brilliant work that can get done in the background in the hopes that when we get 
to a conversation with the lead developer that should be happening sometime around the end of May if they follow through in their promise and agreement to come and speak with us. Maybe we could plant the seed that maybe it's time to retry what has been done in the past, let in um, the community make tools because nobody knows more about what we want in game than the players themselves. If we let people design tools and just give them the support for it, give them the necessary help and make sure it's safe and good for everyone, and then just let that be, allow for that to happen. If we can plant that seed, mwah, we've done our job here, I think. Cool, so that was the first one, Spin and Doughface. It's called Doughface, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can blame Chessy for most of the names. <laughs> <laughs> Spin, boom. Ah, this is the public profile thing that you've said. Um, this was the first iteration where you wanted to add a little code here, right? In the intro. Yeah, so you can see in my profile, that was when I was testing it. The yeah. LFG bot got you to add some unique letters. Like, yeah. Then I just made it so it's, it's LFG. It's a good thing that you didn't pursue the line of thought because of the complexity involved in getting anyone that plays Dofus to open a tab and do things. There's yeah, a they massive got... aversion to that. Oh, <laughs> they're so scared. Like, it's yeah. people are... I, it's, I'm not, it's not wrongly worried because there are mm. a lot of people in the Dofus community that just seem to want to scam people. I mean, yes. just today people were posting all of the uh, market manipulation of random items being bought out of the of the times one slot and being put in like a hundred times the cost of everything else yes I've so that if someone that. misclicks it they're wasting all their money so there's there's a there's a lot of this. bad actors in the dofus community which does mm. give people worries of having to click there is cause for worry and then there is overly being cautious uh, i understand that Tech can be a bit difficult, it can bring about some risks, but I wouldn't understand if someone's decision or response to that is, I'm not going to have internet in my house, or I'm not going to use a phone, or <laughs> no computers will enter my yeah. house. So there's there's some middle ground, and I think you're doing fantastic ebbing and flowing with the tendencies of the player base, and making things that they will intuitively use. And I think that's the reason for our conversation as a whole, is that you have hit a wall with what you wanted to do, but you've always found it in you to be flexible enough to meet people halfway and make a tool that is not as good as you wanted it to be, but that is usable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's no point me preaching to everybody saying, use this, and everyone goes, no, and I'm like, but it's good for you. It's and it's like, well, they don't want to use it, so it's not going to happen. So I have yes. to figure out a different way to help. Perfect tool used by one or two people, or an imperfect yeah. tool according to you that gets used by hundreds of people and at least works easy yeah. well done on making that decision because i know a lot of people in uh, tech because of the tendencies of people that work in tech is to be this is the ultimate truth you take it or you leave it so i commend you for not falling in that dichotomy either my way or the highway what else did we have yeah so that was the first tool that you've uh, devised for us right it was it was one of the simplest ones yeah i think it was uh it, that was definitely the first fun one that I'm like, I'll just make something fun for everyone to be able yeah, to do. Yeah, No need for it all to be practical. So if you want yeah. a shot, frontal shot of your face, you use slash do face, and then you put the Ankama link to your profile. Same thing if you want to create a GIF of your character spinning, you do the same thing. Did we cover everything from do face? Is that everything that it does? I, yeah, that's, that's yeah. all that one does. It's yeah. just a... Nice. It's a fun one. Would you say this was the most, the proudest one you've done <laughs> of yours? No, it was it was definitely hard because I had to um, I had to relearn how image magic works again. Ah, uh, that's a that's a some software that is like image manipulation because I had to download all of the different types of images. I see. Of the of the um, let me see if I can get the link up to show you how it works. The little passion project, you would say, where you've pushed your own learning and knowledge a fair bit in order to make this happen for no practical reason other than, I just want to spin my character. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, it was just a silly, a silly let's, let's see if I can do that. And it was funny. Yeah. Yeah, and it was a hit immediately. And I saw some practical applications, uh, some content creators that are already here with us in the Discord and in the chat today. Uh, it, 
aided their ability to make um, uh, posters, uh, promotional material, um, what are they called, thumbnails for their videos, it made it much easier having the ability to have like a back shot of a character using some specific gear looking in a certain direction. And here I'm thinking of uh, Viper who makes uh, uh, KTA and PvP tournaments and uses that kind of stuff every now and then. What am I looking you at in to... this photo so, here that so happened? I'm just stealing Seth's eye up, apparently. That was uh -huh. the only person on my friend's list that <laughs> I clicked. So that, that's the image from the page, which is quite interesting. I have no okay. idea. There was, there was a time in which I tried to figure out what on earth that URL means. But yeah. The only thing I could really figure out was if you go to the very end of it, you can see, like, look, go to the URL at the very end. Yeah. Four. You can see the 150, 220, yeah, 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those values are, I don't know, yeah, if you change the 20 at the end, that's like a zoom value. Oh, 10 to 20? Yeah. Oh. Did I do it, it wrong? It gets smaller. Oh, did it get smaller? And then if you change the 150 <laughs> by 220, that's like a resolution. <laughs> wow. What, what value should I change there? I think it caps at something. I think it caps at 1080. Oh. Put 500 or something. If you put 100, then it flips it? <laughs> yeah, there was a whole whole lot of weirdness that goes on once you wow. hit certain values. But if you put, like, where it says 150 underscore 220. Yeah. And then if you put that to higher values, say, like, 550 underscore 550. That creates a, a larger image. So all the work is, is on Ooh. whatever Ankama have done with this... That is awesome. So you had to decipher what the link to the character page meant in order to manipulate it and get the data out of it. Yeah, and then That's if you remarkable. go to the, what, oh. one, one last interesting one, if you go back to the end and you there's a there's a one in between two slashes. There is a one between two slashes. Yes, right here after full. Change that to a two. Oh, frontal shot. I see yeah. how you've done so, it. So each... <laughs> So what the bot does is it, it, it gets that URL One, from the character page two, that the three. website is using uh -huh. and then turns them, downloads the image, and then puts the images into a GIF and then sends the GIF into wow. this one. Wow. Spectacular. <laughs> Remarkable. I love it. <laughs> it literally changes the value to get a different shot of it and then compiles them all together. That's amazing. <laughs> Hello, yeah, Roy, so, I mean, it's not to the chat. Like you can see it's not, it's not like it's... Hey. Well, it's not. It's not. It's not a lot of. It's not a lot of work. Most of the no, work was no, playing no, with no. the numbers to see what they did. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you did not explain what this was, as far as I'm concerned, then most people in the chat, this is magic. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try and downplay it because you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> we uh, we tried to decipher all the 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 garbage in the middle, but that's if you remember when I posted that random image of a yeah. a shram body. With one leg, <laughs> the Zella, <face. laughs> the Zella, female Zella head. Yeah, yeah I was playing. I was playing with the numbers in between, trying to figure that out if incredible. I could use them. But well done, it, well done. It was definitely too complicated, so I didn't. I didn't pursue that bit. But you yeah, know, that was guys, fun. This is one of a handful that we will cover, and I've, I'm already having a mighty time figuring out how the hell it works behind the scene under the hood. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's yours. all. That's all that one does. It's, it was a fun one. Cool. So this is definitely a quality of life enjoyment. It has some practical applications like making thumbnails and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, if any content creators need more specific requirements, we can try and add stuff to it. It's not too hard. Can't get much bigger. I think that's the uh, the largest the images go. But Nice. I can't remember where I've seen a uh, Viper post... Uh... 23. I can't remember where he posted some of the results of him working with your bot for uh, the World Cup or something like that, where he made posters with them looking a certain direction, wearing their, uh, uh, what is it called, the gear, you know, the KTA gear and stuff like that. That was cool. I can't find it right now, but yeah, that's definitely one of the things I've seen it being used towards, and that's great. Hmm, Fab. Good. Next one. Oh, what's the next one? Um, uh, the daily one. That's a sm smaller. Let's go well, to the daily one. 
Yeah, Deadly Ooh. One's smaller, because the last one's... Uh, well, I can't remember the other ones. Oh, there's two more, isn't it, after that? Yeah. Um, yeah, the Daily One was fun. That was Tura, mostly, what triggering is it? What that. Is it? What is it? Explain to us what is it first. Oh, the Daily... The Daily Monster. Yes. It was... It was... Um, it's just a daily quiz, or... Uh, we've managed to make it more than once because we have different time zones. So like the Australians and the Europeans, we have, so we have two <laughs> quizzes in the daily quiz. Uh, it picks a random monster uh, and then gives it some random information. So like yeah. where it's from, what race it's from. I don't really know spell. how they categorize that, but uh, yeah. And then a random spell it has and it goes, guess its name. And then you guess its name and then you just get some arbitrary <laughs> internet points. <laughs> Which if you, I fixed something recently, if you type display, yes. uh, I think I put it in the text chat, in the overall general text chat, but you can type display oh. and give it a name, oh, sorry, two dates. Oh, between and it gives you the, yeah. I'm at the lead now, let's go. You're in the lead for, to... this, for this week, you are doing the best. <laughs> yes, honestly, when you made it, I thought, this is interesting. But then I saw how everyone became a bit competitive about it. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, this is really cool, I need to be there. And then I saw people quibbling over, can you make <laughs> it more? Can I have it more? Can we have more of it so I can answer it? Because I'm in Australia and it got a bit... <laughs> the reception was fantastic to say the least for such a tiny little thing that just asks you what the name of this thing is in the game yeah i thought i thought it was a really really fun idea it is um, it but is awesome. it only came around because of torah who's currently in hangout hangout one oh, yeah. pointing out the uh the defensive website which is a fantastic amazing tool yeah really yep. brilliant tool perfect it's so it's just so good at what it does yes. and even better is they've built their website very nicely uh -huh. And it has a front end, which is all the visuals, but also yeah. it has the database back end, which they've uh -huh. so kindly left open to query. Ooh. So it means that I could I could have asked for all the monsters that they have information on yeah. uh, and grab the data for it. <laughs> I do remember the day you were scraping the data and you just put your server up to download it and went to sleep. Woke up in the morning yeah. and realized it I had died a nice long through. wait between each call as to not pester their servers. Yeah. I didn't want to be a, yeah. a menace. Do you think them ever seeing this would make it blocked? Would they block access to it? Is that something that doesn't usually happen in the world of tech, leaving your database open? It, it's definitely... I mean, it's, they can remove it if they want to. Um, they might have left it open for this kind of purpose maybe maybe they have other way other to the tools that use it yeah uh, that they want to use it from yeah honestly i think I'd hope, it's one of the I'd hope they tools want to be nice <laughs> and and leave it it'd be lovely if they left it i would if if they ever add more monsters in but have nice we not got everything we needed monsters. from it if they decided to close it now you've already got all yes. the data right we've got enough we've got like Five thousand monsters or something. It's, it's well enough <laughs> for the yeah. for the for the aspect of the daily quiz thing. I will think be barely so. any repeats throughout the year. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. It would just be nice. It's it's a good collaborative effort. I've noticed that there's been a few uh, community websites that have have done really good collaborative work. Uh, how do you mean? As in, it's it's it's. I mean, I can't confirm it because I want one wasn't wasn't on the make the websites, but. Uh -huh. There's another website uh, called it's called Dofus Dude, but I don't know what the URL is split Ooh, into. Never heard of it. What does it do? It's docs dot dofus d u dot d e. Yo. <laughs> it's, it's docs dofus dude. Uh, this was the first instance of us making something. This was when us and was it Liak? Uh huh. We played for. Golden Spirit needed some translations. Yes, he had made a fantastic tool to calculate how to feed your pets the most efficient way, but he had made it in uh, PTBR and I think it's just Spanish. So the idea that we've had for the first effort was to translate that to English so we can use it internally at the international pub. So what have you done with that website? How did it make your life easy? That website populated uh, all of the the trans all the all of the information about I think the items the resource items resources yeah and it gave the French names and the English names as well 
and I, th I think the the official and karma translations as well, which is really handy. That is awesome. Uh, and that and that helped Golden Spirit um, change create uh, the translations for his, his spreadsheet, which yeah. is a very very handy spreadsheet. Further enlarge it to include French and English, following a collaborative effort between you and Liak. Thank you very much for that. I think That's that was right. the first time I really thought. This is no longer just a Discord where I post my dream screenshots because before you joined it and others have decided to take it up, I literally just used it. I think there was me and three other people in it that like friends of mine whenever we wanted to be on voice chat. And I purely used it for my screenshots whenever I did an interesting dream flow. I would just leave it there so that later on I can't even see how far back this is the amount of... <laughs> Chats have that have happened in there. It's insane. Hello, Sev. Welcome to the chat. Look at us. We're the captains <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely. I did put it in the um, pop up, so anyone that gets a notification that I'm live will see that one of the architects of the international pop. And I'm not, I'm not sort of uh, building you up when I say this, but a lot of uh, your effort and a handful of people that have joined early on that have just put a lot of effort into building the place that people would later on join and think, this feels like a place I want to be part of, rather than the desert I had built where it was literally just screenshots everywhere, no chats, no organization, no nothing. So definitely thank you very much for that. Much appreciated, and it's definitely the place where I spend most of my time when I'm awake, not with my family. I'm afraid You're not sleeping <laughs> or on a... On a... Uh, on a beanbag, apparently. Yeah, your favorite place to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so the daily one is not something that we can use as much as interact with uh, this channel right here for it. Where every now and then this page will refresh, a new monster will come up. You'll have a green button where you can take guesses what the name of this thing is. Um, I mean, is if you if you want to give an example, you can trigger one right now. If you oh, clear okay. all of your your failed answers. <laughs> Okay, so what do I do to do uh, a test slide, and show? Ta uh, slash trigger, I think, is the is the command. Trigger. And it will just set off a, a quiz right now, or Boom. in a couple of couple of seconds. It checked, first of all, whether I had the rights <laughs> to do it. It did, okay. yeah. And then if you click the dismiss message, you'll get rid of all those bot messages. Boop, boop. Oh, let's go. Tried. No idea what that is. Oh, let's go! <laughs> let's go! So feel like that is a little bit rigged now. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can subtract some points from my uh, account, <laughs> but this is how it looks like essentially when you come into it. Look, it's already full. A lot of times, and I'm gonna tell you off for this. A lot of times, it surprisingly updates when you are around. <laughs> and I don't know if you are behind it or do you do it manually or is it automatically on a schedule? It's on a schedule. Uh, I can't. I don't know if this command works at the moment. Put put slash when, w h e n, and it should tell you the times that it it will trigger. Twenty four hours and fourteen hours. I see. Yeah. And this has been put in place because once the bot was released, there was a riot. People were like, <laughs> yeah. by the time I log in in Australia. Everyone has had a go and I can't get any points. I was like, really? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> and then Gluto had a massive tell off from two ladies in the chat <laughs> in the Discord. And then. Got put in my place. Yeah. And then he added an extra slot to accommodate for the regional variations because the international pub is actually international. There's people who sleep when others are waking up and vice versa. So, yeah, the, the geography of it is pretty, covers pretty much the entire planet. What was the other thing I wanted to say about this? Yeah, I always find it funny that when you get it right, you just start adding reactions so that whoever comes <laughs> to have a go <laughs> finds a little message. <laughs> I mean, because... you got to add the middle finger reaction. That's yeah. the only one. <laughs> you naughty, naughty man. Every time I come in, I'm like, oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that little see, wink, Alan. See all the sad reactions of people that missed it. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, so that's how it goes. Uh, yeah, because we've actually removed the ability of everyone to type messages here because it turned into a conversation and then you'd log in, you can't even see 
the image. It's literally buried in the walls of text and people are quibbling about it. I was like, wait, 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 wait. This needs to be a place where you can have a guest and when it's finished, it's finished. So we've completely deactivated uh, the ability to type in the chat. That's cool. Hello, Dersha, welcome. Hello. Uh, any any other things you want to tell us about this spot, which was absolutely fun? I think it's more fun than the spin one, which I think people get bored after you spin your character for a while. You only revisit it when you have a big cosmetic change or something like that. But this one yeah, is Yeah, the, the spin one's a bit more useful than it, and fun, whereas whereas the Daily Monster one was purely just for the, for the fun of it. Yeah. Hello, Alan. Welcome to the chat. Can can you guys tell me something? I'm I'm gonna pose a question to chat and feel free to answer it as well. I'm gonna ask you, and then chat can have their go as well. What have you learned from having a go at? What were your appreciations? What did you discover? What did you find from interaction with this bot? What came to mind? <laughs> what have you found out about you, your knowledge, and your gaming experience here? Best Nothing. monsters have ridiculous names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sevi. I only know uh, the names of one twenty nine mobs instantly. Yes. That's good. <laughs> That's good. That was that happened to me when the Dragon Warrior came up, and it's no yeah. longer called the Dragon Warrior. It's called something else. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't know what it was called. It's Dragon Rock. Yeah. <laughs> I jumped on that one immediately. Yeah. Uh, Eslix, I can't spell. I'm with you on that one, man. <laughs> uh, it's not... I, you say I know all the names, but I can't spell them. What I realize is I have the impression of knowing all the names, but in reality, I have absolutely no idea what the actual names are. Regardless of the spelling, I find that I miss the spirit of the name by having a general vague idea of what it is. It's until you read it and actually look at it. Oh, I see what you've been doing there. I see it now. 100%. I, I do that with all the pun names and I just kind of glance at them and go, oh, that's Walter yeah. or whatever his name is. And then it's meant to be Walter White and there's, there's next to a giant RV and you're like, oh, I get it now. I but get because it now, I skim yeah. the names and just know that I just do that, yeah. I lose a lot of the, the value. That's what I realize is we don't really stop and read the names and try and understand what they, what were they trying to do with it. We'd rather just skim over them. We have functional knowledge of what an association of image of the mob and sort of vague name for it. Zach is saying the entire game has stupid names. Breach. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> but we wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, there you go. There's something for you in chat from Sevi. Is it would that be spells of class spells or spells of uh monsters? Oh. I'd absolutely say stay away from monsters because who the hell knows about the spells of monsters? I reckon classes because we all play them and yeah. use them. Yeah. Oh yeah, we could do. There's, there's a lot less, but I mean, still do it. Class spells, yeah. That could be an interesting one. A uh, quick question for you. Is, it, is the fact that you've done the work now with... Uh, mobs so you have it all set up and ready you've done all the leg work behind it it's up and running does that make it so easy if you want to enhance what it can do is it literally just adding one line saying can you do this with spells please bot or how does the magic work behind <laughs> because there's so much data uh -huh. i had to only take certain amounts of it because uh -huh. um i got a i was use i was using a, a, a an online database that you can get free trial of and you, as long as you don't do too much traffic you don't get charged uh -huh. and I accidentally made a mistake and got a very angry email from Google telling me that I've gone over the limit oh. because I had too much of I just took all the data so I trimmed it so it only has the data that the bot needs now right so okay. if I want to do extra stuff I'll have to go and get the data back and and um okay we don't want the new data anymore. out can you not upset Google? We don't want them joining the Discord to type angry shit at us. <laughs> Keep it halal. <laughs> oh, Zach is saying class plus sidekicks. Is that what spells? actual uh, classes? Or are you thinking of... Because there's only 19 classes. I mean, that wouldn't be much of a challenge. Are you thinking of class spells plus sidekicks themselves? Sorry, go on. Sidekicks? Psychic spells, I'm, I'm guessing you mean class spells plus also psychic spells. 
the maybe psychics the sidekicks will have themselves. icons as well and names, yeah. which would be quite nice. Yeah, it's it's just the it's just enough. It, it's it's not too many spells that I wouldn't just do it manually. It's not like because there's not five five thousand spells like there was yeah. with monsters, so I'd probably just do it manually. Three per, yeah. But yeah, that's food for thought. It seems like the class spells at least is a hit in chat today. Mm. That is requested. Fire damp is that is that the name of the unit spell? That's my favorite icon. Fire damp, yeah, yeah. Fire damp explosion. Two turns. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Iro started the new trend. Let's go. Fire damp explosion. Yes, it's the Enutroph spell that triggers. Uh, AOE damage if that ally receives heals. Tiny, tiny image. Yeah, so yeah. just take note of that and do with it what you will. <laughs> Add that to the list. Yeah. I also like the Dofus Geogasser. Ooh, I do not know about it, Sev. Is there like a website we could see or. Geogasser sounds really cool. Imagine, That's a really cool it... idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Dofus DB does have a preview of the map in some quests. Yeah. Is that, so I'm guessing exactly it, if it, is it on saying. there? That's what Sevi is saying. It, it was on Dofus DB. Is it literally one map that you have to find the coordinates or just tell me um, the area? Like, it would be easy. You'd see a map and know that it's Sidemo or whatever, Bonta. Oh, challenges would be a fun one as well. Put the icon out and say what you have to do. Yeah. Or say what you have to do and then say what the challenge is. Yeah. That could That's be an little, interesting yeah. one. Uh, what I'll say about that, because uh, we'd like to progress and see other stuff that Gluto has been working on, is uh, we do have a suggestion box on the Discord. So if you have any idea, general, this this uh, chat right here is if you have an idea about anything, literally anything, if you want an emote added, Look here. Can we add this? Boom. Add it. Could we have this emote? Could we have this? Could we have an extra trade chat? I think it was um, Iron Man that wanted the trade chat. We've added it. So if you have an idea for a bot or something like a meme you wanted, you want add in or anything of that nature, this is the chat for it. You just put a message down there. I'll be sure to read it. And if we can make it happen now or later, it will. It will be looked at immediately. That is for sure. So if you have any ideas for uh, the sort of enhancement to the daily bot so that it's not just mobs, it could be mobs and spells and geoguessing or whatever you think you want to see there, just put it down there, Gluto will have a look at it. And if he's so kind as to make it, we'll take it. <laughs> That's the new motto. <laughs> if he makes it, we'll take it. Guess the name of the area would be better than coordinates. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Those are details, but the general idea is GeoGuessr is something that could be interesting, and I see it. I mean, if we can't we can't get all the names of monsters, I feel like everyone's going to uh, fall over with the like what the precise coordinate of a of a random tile on the world map. Oh, this is a video from uh, Uz that is trying to guess where the map is. That is really cool, actually. Just but I don't think a... that's that is that Discord able. <laughs> is that even a word? Is it something you can make on Discord? Like scrolling down the map and trying to find the right one, zoom, de zoom. Oh that is exciting. I actually really like that. Hello good, welcome to the chat. That is really cool. I'll send you the link of it just in case. Oh, it's the, the yeah, on Duflex. GeoGuessr game. That one. Although it doesn't look like it's loading anymore. Oh no, it is, it's just really slow. I've put it down there so we can revisit it when we're all not live. Oh, I've got and it yeah, we can look at it at some other time. Duflex. Ooh. Sweet. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Mm -mm -mm. That's cool. 
Cool. We've covered that one. So we have touched upon the spin. For everyone that has just joined the chat, we are having a conversation with Gluto, one of the architects of many of the coolest tools that exist in the international pub that make this place unique compared to everywhere else and makes you want to join it. Don't you want to join it? Yes, you do want to join it. Here are the links in the chat. <laughs> We've talked about the first one, where if you put do face slash and this little face, you have the ability to generate an image of any character in the game from the link. And you also have the ability to spin. The bot goes around, takes various images of your character and then turns it into a GIF that spins around. And you can use it in whatever you want. If you're making content, if you want to make, I don't know, you do with it whatever you want. But it's a fun little project that he's worked on. And that was a remarkable success. A lot of people have found practical uses for it. On top of just the fun of spinning your character and seeing what it looks like, yeah. what it looks like from all angles. The other one, which according, I think for me, was the biggest hit of all the bots, as far as I'm concerned. It has turned um, logging into this Discord an exciting thing and added the layer of complexity and the excitement to it. Competitiveness, where you log in every day, twice a day, there will be a random monster that will pop up. And I'll do another test. I definitely don't want to just accumulate three points, Cluto. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, I'll get some points from you. Yeah, please do take 200 points. And also, Eslex and Sevi have participated, not them down. The naughties. <laughs> <laughs> So this is how it looks like. Twice a day, a, an image will pop up. And oh, is that the Greedo blob? And Ooh, you have to guess no. the name of it. Ooh. Uh, You're not going to get that right. Look at the information again. Right. Arc Monster. Oh, what is it called? Oh, shit. Someone beat him. Come on. Oh. Hey. No, Jay! Oh, <laughs> I told you he was knowledgeable. He just proved it live. <laughs> I'm having to go to Nala's website to find the greeter. <laughs> Greet Duff the gentleman. Oh my god. You see what I told you, this was compared. No, leave me! Leave me this spot! <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't get it. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Neo, I expected you to be on it because it's an Ark Monster and nobody knows Ark Monsters quite like Neo to the point where we have a little command for her, <laughs> the Arch Whisperer. <laughs> so if you put exclamation mark, Neo comes up and whispers to your Ark Monsters. And I hear, don't quote me on this one, but put in this exclamation mark neo on any chat increases your ability to find arc monsters by at least 50 percent for the next 24 hours don't quote me on that one but i think it is true definitely not proven well you just you just <laughs> mentioned a, another very helpful community member with their website that you just brought up yes shall we, shall we take a moment yeah i mean you can go through that one if you want or no. i can uh no, segue into she was the reason why the crawl of bot was created oh Ooh, go on. So let, talk talk to us about what you understand from um, not not in <laughs> not good, not in the Twitch chat. It has to be in <laughs> the Discord chat. Can you tell us what your understanding of this tool right here is? Because it falls exactly within the remit of what you are doing. Exactly. What do you see when you look at mydoffice.de that was made by Nala and her um, developer friend, Shalat? I mean, it's an extremely helpful um, community tool that helps people, I mean, trade between Arc Monsters to get their, their Okras, which is super handy. Super. I, I've yet to redeem all of my Arc Monsters <laughs> from the, the Tingy event. I just have Lazy like a, a load of boxes that I need to yeah. uh, sell. But when I eventually get around to doing it, I'm sure I will 100% be using my Dofus. Yeah. So she she's made this tool to make getting your ochre as easy as a breeze, keeping track of things, you don't need Excel sheets, and it's also a place where now you can send messages to people who have what you don't have, so you can trade, and both of you get there much faster. So what has this inspired in you that has translated into a bot that we can use now in the Discord? Well, part of what Nala and her crew <laughs> do mm -hmm. is also run their own Discord specifically yes. for Mydophus, which 
because arc monsters are directly linked to eventually fighting the giant Kralov, because that's mm -hmm. the last step to get you your okra. Yeah, they have they had their own ways, or they have their own ways of trying to get people to all collaborate and stand on the forty nine squares so that the gates open for forty minutes and everyone can fight the giant Kralov. Yes. So just talking to her about it and you know moaning about how hard it is to have everybody collaborate together. Yeah. She asked if I could do anything or we could figure out how to make a better way to do it so that people could collaborate easier yeah. and just basically be told <laughs> where to stand. Yes. Go stand on this thing. We need yes. six people. Yeah. And that's she has when a way. The, the... She has a way that makes you immediately <laughs> go and make something out of it. <laughs> yeah, I like that about her. So what was the outcome of that conversation? That was the Kralov bot was born, which is... Not a fun but by by means. It's it's purely functional to help people know when a Talkasha Kralov is trying to be opened. Right, okay. So you normally do not see anything happening until there is a Kralov opening. And then someone triggers the bot. This is the Kralov bot. Someone triggers it and then it brings about should we do it or is that gonna ping a lot of Discords for no reason? It will it will ping whoever whatever Discord's it added to, but you could probably do it quickly. I think they use it in the top cast as I mentioned. They use it here as well. Uh, what the hell? Let's let's run a test. So guide me through it. I've got the Kralov bot open. It's got a whole load of <laughs> little commands. The what, yeah, what, I mean, what you the, started? the one that I would say to start the whole thing would be uh, let's say we want to organize us a, a a time to open it in the future. So we go, ah, oh, okay. tomorrow or in an hour, you'll, you'll be live. And the first thing you're going to do when you're live is open crawler for everyone. Deal. So you could do slash reminder. I can't remember the full one. If you, if you just click the little cute yep. crawler image, it will come up with all the commands. Yeah, reminder. Dofus and you put time. in a Dofus time uh, in 24 hour format. So I don't know what it is. What would that be? 10, 10, 10 30 or 9 30 would be nine minutes, right? 9.30. Yeah, um... Oh, in nine minute. And it sent it to all the Kralov listeners. So presumably... Oh, do you see that in Nala's uh, it pops uh, up, yeah. Discord? It has popped up. Do they have it on here as well? No, they've not added it here. But that, every would, Discord that would be the dream, it. to get as many our capture community or just guild servers all adding the bot so that everybody gets poked when it happens so that everyone yeah. can help. Uh, so the reason why the, by the way while it doubled up the message is because if you go to the crawl of stuff crawl of info is where normal people can see it yeah the crawl of control room is where the people who have the rights over the bot can see right. it. right that's why there's a double message because this yeah. was so you're, you're meant to, to put all of the commands in the in the crawl of control room bit gotcha so this that's fine yeah you can just type slash clear if you go to the control room and do clear or delete or whatever it's the command's called. I can't remember. Clear. I think it's clear. Yeah, clear just gets rid of all the messages on all the but servers. It's gone. And it's gone. That, that is outstanding. What The, the thing I wanted to show here is uh, the images and how we fill them just to, as a quick mm -hmm. refresher. So let's say I want to start a crawl of opening. I got all my characters on the tiles and everybody's excited. Everybody's getting their ochre. Where do we start? With literally... flash start. <laughs> Boom. That's it. <laughs> that's that's that. it. You start that's at the that. start. Boom. Did you see the ping here? So it comes up with all the five locations where people have to stand. Every single room. But this is a... This is how it looks like on all the discords that are listening. All of a sudden, this, this pop-up shows up on their discord. So they are informed that an opening is underway. And how many players are required. But from the control room in the international pub, someone that is in charge of it can update the values. So, slash update room, dark jungle, for example. We've got 10 people standing, so two free tiles. So, required players, two. 
what happens is it will adjust it so dark jungle has come all the way down and it's only two and if someone is not part of this discord first of all why and second of all if someone is in a different discord that is listening in on the bot now they know there's only two spots left in there so they could rush someone in or organize it themselves to have someone go there which is remarkable and then once all of them are updated and zero zero are required what do we do to signal to everyone that Kralov is open this is how long you have left go 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 what is yeah, the command you, you end the event you end the Kralov event with the end command and this triggers two things automatically it updates all of the servers first of all that are listening boom Kralov is open go 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 and also it starts a timer of 40 minutes because that's how long the gates remain open once they're open once the thing is done and it will start this timer that changes real time as in in five minutes it will show 35 minutes so if you've just logged in opened your discord and you saw that message Kralov is open how long do i have left you are able to determine that without having to log in or do any sort of magic guesswork <laughs> that is certainly going to happen as <laughs> yeah. and yeah, then you can just do the slash clear again to get rid of it minutes. if you uh oh yeah, yeah 39 minutes uh, is it end or clear? Clear. End. End sends the uh, sends the event. Ah, sends yes. the end. Sends it's open. Clear just gets yeah, rid yeah, of all yeah. the messages. Boom, and that's all sorted. And everything probably should change what? end to open. <laughs> that might make more maybe. sense. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Maybe. It doesn't matter because only a handful of people have control there and can open and close it. So mm. as long as they're okay with the nomenclature, I don't mind. But yeah. yeah the. the the challenge with this bot is is you still need a person to mm. be the one that's taking in the information of what need what's needed where and yeah. then sending out the events. So yeah. I, I've I, I started myself as the default person and then each person who has control over the bot, I called it a what a control master. Mm -hmm. Whoever is a control master can promote somebody else to be a control master. Yeah. So that's kind of how it works. So like if you yeah. if you want somebody uh, like to, to do the crawl off button, they're willing to do it, then you can promote them to do it. Uh, awesome. But it, it is it is still quite a complicated thing because obviously we want more and more discords to have this functionality because the more people on Talcasia and have the discords that have it, the more bodies and the more bums on seats and the better for everybody. But yeah, yeah it does become more of a problem with you need to trust people who run the bot, otherwise they're going to spam every person's server with false information. Yeah. Definitely a challenge. My estimation for this bot in particular is that it is something that we should not be breaking our heads with in general. The player base should not have to worry about this. They've taken massive steps towards making uh, openings easier. So now you can teleport from the tile room directly to the face of the dungeon by speaking to an NPC. That was a problem because everyone would stand there to get their own time and nobody would sell on the tiles to open it so they can get in. So there was like a responsibility diffusion. That's a good step. But I think mm. what I really would like to see is an in-game tool because then you don't need anybody sat looking at all the tiles, updating information on Discord so that people can see it and then go to the game and stand on a tile or go to their cloud. It should be something that happens internally in the game. But we're having to do this because it doesn't exist yet. Do you agree yet. with that estimation or? How hopeful. How hopeful you be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Congrats, Furex, on Ebony. This guy's just bloody speed running the entire game. Two days per Dofus, and here I am, a month and a half in order to do my ivory. And he's done it in two days. <laughs> that is remarkable, honestly. I'd be, I'd be worried with the amount of eggshells that get in this man's omelets if this, <laughs> how fast he, if this is how fast he cracks eggs. <laughs> yeah, he definitely has cracked a handful of eggs in the last week or so. <laughs> yeah. Literally, Eslix, how is the only thing? We've got some cyborgs. We've got one in the chat with us today that makes bots, <laughs> little copies of himself that do things for us. We've got different kind of bots, guys that can speed run a dream room in one turn. And another one that seemingly can do an entire quest in a day or two. 
It makes me Mad question man. my how my how adequate I am at everything that I do in life. Maybe anyway. we should sleep less. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. I'll take it. <laughs> but we'll talk about it later. <laughs> cool. We've covered Krylov, which is definitely the most functional. Uh, is it the most? It's definitely up there with the most functional tools that we have to manage an aspect of the game. Is that a fair estimate? Yeah, it's pretty functional. Le- less fun. Yeah. Nothing about it is fun. It's purely a tool to an end. You just want to open Krylov and you're having to deal with all this stuff before. Cool. What is left to cover? And I feel like we've not... We've my my favourite bot. My Ooh. current, my favorite bot, mostly because of the name, okay. <laughs> but also because it's very handy and it saved me already as I'm making my way through Cloudy at the moment. Oh, 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 drum roll! It please. is Begetify, yeah. Oh, see, if I knew how to use the stream deck, I would have pressed the button and had the dream roll going for you. But I don't yet, and that's something I will add to the list of things to do. <laughs> the love bot. <laughs> No goon, he has not developed Tinder. Yet. Um, Drum roll button. We could uh, make both us Tinder. Match match you up based (laughs) on your class choice and make sure that all the Kras are on their own forever. (laughs) I'll disregard that mean comment (laughs) and carry on with the (laughs) getify. What is Begetify? First of all, talk to us about the name and then what the bot is and how well, it came to be. <laughs> come on, the, na- the name is self-explanatory. Oh, really? It come begetifies on. information. It turns it... It's, all, it's, it's a bot all about helping translate between French and English. Okay. Not necessarily like Google Translate does because mm. Google Translate has its own rules for how it wants to translate. Uh, and Ankama do a very good job uh, persisting puns between their languages. I see, I see. So you can't just go to Google Translate and put in a quest name or an item name or something and be like, this is the name to find it in French community websites, usually Dofus Pauli Noobs. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have a, we had a problem where everyone's like, just go use Dofus Pauli Noobs. And we're like, yeah, it's a great website, but Google Translate translates it using Google's Translate. Uh, yeah. So it doesn't help when you try to find like the monster name. It's like you need to go talk to this NPC, or that you need to go kill this monster, yeah. and you're like that monster doesn't exist because the translation is literal and it's not Ankama's translation. Yes. So that was first. The first thing that happened in that bot was item names. I think resources. Yes. Which I'd uses the Dofus Do API in, tool that we talked about, where in they have particular. I think that was born out of. Uh... So sometimes I'll give you an example. This is how it looks like for me. And I think I was one of the people who pushed a lot for this thing because it's super useful. Right. You're doing your ivory quest. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let's stay with this one. This is exactly how it was born. And I'll show you what I mean. Uh, Let's take this one, for example. Aha. Good. I'm doing my alignment quests. I'm at 95. First of all, I know it's alignment 95 because numbers translate across all languages. But the name of it, really difficult. Not unsurmountable, but really difficult. In any case, um, the real difficulty for me was here. I do not know the name of all items and resources in French. If I read Treffel à cinq feuilles, I know it's five leaf clover. Boom. Done. What the hell is at le monde beer? Uh, mâchoire, these things right here, if you go to the Dofus English wiki, here, you translate the page to English, and it doesn't necessarily, here's, here's, a, here's a clear example, let's Five sheets this. clover. <laughs> Five sheet clover is not the name of the item. When you go to your game and go to your uh, encyclopedia, it brings back nothing. Uh, Schaefer Drogur's stub. I know for a fact it's not stub. <laughs> it's clearly not stub. So let's reverse it and then do an example. So let's take these two things. Treffe la cinq feuilles and then translate it to English, right? It's five sheet clover. But baguetteify, if you just copy this, slash translate item and press enter, you get. What was the name of it? Sack of five leaf clovers, apparently. Sack of five leaf clovers, yeah. No, it should be just five leaf clovers. 
it is. But it's it matches uh, with names that contain the name you give. So. Ah, so it, it had two options, and it just went with the first one. Went for the first, the sack one, yeah. Uh, let's go back to the original, Mâchoire du Chaffer, and then go back to English. I've translated it. The stop gives back nothing. But if I do slash translate item, boom, it gives you the name. It's a jaw, not a stub, and it gives you an image of it for people, visual people like myself, who can immediately recognize something by just seeing it rather than reading the name. It's plural since you need more than one. Ah, yes, 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 yes. That's an excellent shout. Right, let's reverse it and see if that solves problem. That'd be interesting. That will solve it. I'm sure it will solve it. Boom. Excellent one, Jay. Excellent uh, spot. We've spotted a couple of That's things good. that happen with this bot. Like, uh, this is the second one, actually. I said many. This is the second one. The first one we've realized is OE in French, like in Earth, egg. You have to literally type that little... Um, what do you call them? Are they... Uh, they become symbols or characters or whatever, the OE that are stuck together. Yeah, you're... Sorry, Eslix pointed out, just to completely derail what you were saying, Eslix pointed out, my Chrome translates to fi five leaf clovers properly. So that's uh -huh. interesting why your Chrome does it differently. It's not Chrome, I use um, uh, Firefox, that might be why. Ah, but yeah, again, there you go. Do you really want the player base? So that's why for Eslix it's obvious. It's so obvious because the translation is <laughs> more accurate for him. But for me, I've just struggled with it live in front of everyone. And we had to have a tool that literally had zero error so you can get certainty on things. Given that the English wiki has been let down, let go for a really long time. And it's not used as much nowadays or updated. So you don't necessarily get updated information. Boom. So that was for translation of every item and every resource in the game. If you put the French name, it will give you English and vice versa. Is that right? Translate. Does it do it the other way around as well? Yeah, it should do. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I always test bunch of keys as my go-to. Because it's the thing I remember. <laughs> <laughs> bunch of keys. Oop. I didn't put it right. Bunch of keys. Or just bunch. Actually, I could just use the very same item. <laughs> oh, translate item. Even if you have the French one, it should be able to do it, right? If I leave Clover, why is it not doing it? Apparently not. Live testing. Live testing. Oh, like a lovely oh, bot joined your stream. Go. And then it gives you the French one as well. I think this also might be the case with um, hyphens and stuff like that. It's uh... Sorted, thank you very much for pointing that one out, Eslix. Yeah, so the tool generally functions really, really well for 99% of the applications. Where it struggles is where you have to be on top of things with uh, copying the right uh, characters, like accents and mm. uh, special characters like OE merged together. It just has to have the exact name for it to search for it in the database. I think it looks for it uh, with 100% accuracy, right? It No, it searches for it with if the name of something contains the what you put into it. Mm. I could make it better, but that's just the that's easiest way to do it. That's why I brought the sack when we were yeah. looking at So if you put like bunch as just a mm. word, it will find the first thing in the database that it's looking for that matches, that, that contains the word bunch. There you it doesn't go. necessarily mean bunch of keys, it means whatever ah, contains bunch. I yeah. see, I see, I see. That's excellent. For me, that solves most of the problems when I can just open the French Dofus Polenup and then see the items I recognize. The ones I don't recognize, I'll put them through the bot and then I can do my shopping before I start a quest and I have all the items on me. Uh, without the real question is how on... does that hmm? how does that contain bunch? <laughs> That's the Bunch. question. <laughs> right, yeah. well, whatever. Uh, it's... Because the thing that I found is English Dofus alignment, for example. If you go to alignment quest, it's not guaranteed that if you go through this wiki that you will find the same requirement here of things that you need to pick up before you actually go and do the thing.
Yeah. Uh, that's that's okay. items. Above, it yeah. also does quests now. Oh, hold on. Oh, we've gone a bit too fast. So that was for items and resources. So pretty much everything in the database can go from French to English and English to French, right? Yep. Fab. And this uses... Uh, I don't remember which one it uses. It either uses the Dofus Dude API or it uh -huh. uses Dofus DB. I think the item uses Dofus Dude's API. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. Uh... Hold on, let me see the comments. The amount of PV, uh, uh, PM I get that I can't understand even we will translate. That's a problem with translation, Goon. You're absolutely right. Um, there's, there is legit only one thing I struggle translating on Dofus Polenoob due to the image of the resources being equal. Temporal powder and magical cure. <laughs> <That> <laughs> yeah. is just showing off right now. <laughs> He's doing his yeah. thing. <laughs> We'll let you cook. I know we don't have a problem. But here's, here's something I wanted to say is some things are super obvious to me. But I will never I try my I try so hard not to be like, this is obvious, just figure it out. Because I realize I have a lot of experience behind me that not necessarily everyone has. And many people are just new to the game. So trying to find something that solves the problem with a high degree of accuracy is what we, we ought to be thinking of collectively. How can we solve this problem once and for all? If you're super experienced and you never have to worry about this, fantastic. If you have one case in 99 that you struggle with, you have to have a tool as well for you to use that will bring you to that level of certainty. But if you think about it from the standpoint of someone that is noob, that has just started or is starting and doesn't know as much as you or me do, they need something to bridge that gap for them. And I think this is where the necessity of these tools is which helps us segue neatly into the other kind of translation that Begitify does. Floor is yours, Gluto. What can we look forward to? Uh, yeah, Begitify can now also translate quest names, which is oh. something that I've been using a lot, because when you want to follow guides, you can just copy pasta the quest name in, and it will oh. give you the information for the quest name. And this was a hit for me. The fuck we couldn't find it. Is it alignment? Hold on, let's start, let's pick a normal uh, normal quest. Um, this was also something I struggled with for one reason: prerequisites. If you have prerequisites that you need to figure out, I just want to know what the name of it is, so that I can go on my character, open my quest tab, and just look for it. Do I have it? Have I already done it? Do I need to start it? And that was quite difficult. Translate quest. I'll put the name of the quest. Boom! To the last site. And if I look yep. for this, presumably, if I look for this and put Dofus next to it, it should bring the English wiki first, the last site. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! I fucking love it. I, can, I can't explain how much I love this... Uh, for questing in general, because it solved one big problem where, for example, if I'm doing, um, what is this part of the black spotted, then I'd have to look for black spotted uh, English wiki. Dofus, I have to mention that. And then I would open, honestly, about 20 tabs. So this is the achievement, right? And I'll open this. And then keep following the prerequisites. So this one needs the soul steal and then I'll end up with 17 Dofus Polenoob tabs and other 17s from the English wiki and I need to match which is which just so I can get a simple information and go to my actual <laughs> game and see whether I've done it or not. I feel like it should be easier than that, shouldn't it? <laughs> so this is definitely a banger of a translator tool and Baguettify, thank you very much Chesi for the name. It was a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Old Office Noob. How are you doing, my friend? The, should, um, we, should we have a little it, moment of appreciation for Chessy and his naming of things? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was it. <laughs> that's that's like, the moment over. Done. Oh, Move along. Moving don't on. don't even know if he named Begetify, but we'll give him credit anyway. <laughs> yeah, Oti. Problem solved. Uh, I... You can use this in pretty much every chat, but I do recommend, and I've 
think it's a general rule just to keep the Discord as a whole tidy. We have a speci specialized bot spam, and I've put spam in there so nobody feels reluctant to spam it. It's that's what it's for. If you want a high definition image, use a bot there. You want to spin your character, you want to translate a quest, and some of our other things that we will find out, use that uh, chat to pretty much spam all the bots that are available. Do not hold back, do not worry about it. It is there for that particular reason, to be spammed. So that when you go to the general chat, you don't find stuff like this, Gluto. <laughs> Bot spam. In, <laughs> in all fairness, Begetify, <laughs> I made it purposefully so it doesn't create spam for other people. It, ah. Begetify, you can use anywhere without worry because it, it only ever sends you a secret message. Ah, so if you, that's you, you see it where it says only you can see this yeah, and then you can yeah, dismiss yeah, yeah. the message. Yes. So don't worry about Begetify. Spin does spam the chat <laughs> purposely mm. so people see what you're spinning because it's funny. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I actually like it. I'll tell you what, that, now, now I know that uh, Eslix is working on an Ilio uh, video, <laughs> something to do with Iliotropes because he's searched for a spell for the class and stuff like that. Earlier, people know I will be making a video about uh, uh, the rewards of... Uh, well, I, I will be working on a video about the expeditions, and this is part of the rewards, so I'm looking for a high-definition image using another bot we're not going to talk about today. But here, when I see someone looked for All Is Not Frost, I don't know who it was. And then Begetify, you can't see who did it. Can we change that, Gluto, do you think? I like this community aspect of it, of seeing people spam bots. And it's an indicator of activity and also a marker of what you can do for people who miss these lives or will not see the video that I will produce later on on this basis. Do you think we can change that? You want me to name and shame somebody who uh, dumps out the, uh, the graph? Why not? I, what what sure. is your take yeah. on this to begin with, what I've just said now? Yeah, no, I, I like I like seeing the uh, the bots being used. It it less less so for stuff like uh, translating items and translating quests because they want to be quick and dirty and you don't need to litter it. And it's <laughs> if if you want the information and you yeah. put it in the spot the the bot spam channel and yeah. everyone puts it in the bot spam channel, then the information's going to float up the screen and you won't be able to see it. Uh -huh. So being being able to use it anywhere is quite nice. But if you want to refer back to it, yeah, meh, yeah, yeah, pros and cons for no. both. I agree, I agree. You're, you've got full creative freedom, you're the architect of these things, and I like to respect your vision for it. I'm happy with Baguettify. Uh, but the thing with um, uh, this one, I'll just tell you my reasoning for asking for this for the tree, like No More Mystery Ice Guy. I don't know who spammed this, but let's say um, it was me. you who spammed it, yeah. And let's say I know you're working on Ice Dofus now. There are things I can do to accommodate, like, uh, I know you're working on it to begin with, and I like to keep, like, a mental tally of what everyone's characters are, what everyone is doing, what this person needs help with, the level of these guys. Like, I know f from memory that Ferrable is now moved on to level 80 to 90 in his characters. So that little thing, and I don't want this for everyone. I, I do this because I want to. I keep a tally of things like these so that... Uh, I, I'm mindful that he might need level 90 sets so I can go and add some to the sets channel. I think this is a bit too much for everyone to even think about. But this is, I'm telling you the reasoning why I like to see who spammed what in the chat so that I can sort of be prepared and overly helpful when they need it, if they need it. Do you see why? That's, that's straight up stalker behavior, Mo. That is. <laughs> that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. You That's you banging on people's windows. Like, oi, move out the way, I'm watching your TV. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Goon and Gluto are on the jokes today. Okay, nobody join them, please. <laughs> yeah, but entirely up to you. I like, I respect if it's just a dirty thing that people want to get the information out of here. Nobody needs to see it. But that that's why, and I've said that you do what you want with it. Full creative freedom. Are you satisfied? Did we cover everything to do with the translation of item and quests? And is everybody okay with it? Are you, do you guys have any thoughts, any sort of improvements, any ideas, something comes to mind? Now is the really good time while we have the attention of the architect of all these bots. Now is a good time to ask for things. But if you do miss the opportunity, you can always go to the suggestion box, pop it in there. He will read it, I will see it, and we will see what comes out of it eventually. You were going to say something, uh, Gluto. 
Rory, I just saw I just saw the public or not public option. That's probably an easy one to do. You could have it have it as a defaults to private begetify and then you can if you want to. It'll post it publicly. As in you choose to post it publicly or not after you've um, translated it. When you go to translate it, you can just say true, post it publicly. Okay. If you if you think it's funny or if you think it's helpful, you could redo it and publicly post it or you could publicly post it to start with. Yeah, completely ignore me on Begetify. What you've said is exactly bang on. The utility, it's a f- shape over a form over a content or whatever it's called. The utility of it is better than just the looks and whatever. You keep that however you want. And there's a question for you in chat. Oh, that, that's actually for me. That's actually one I can is pick. That- yes, oh. OT. Yes, yes, yes. There is not a bot. Sadly, um, Malt is the bot. <laughs> I am the bot in this case. <laughs> this is a joke I used to make a lot by saying I need to run the dishwasher and then I would go and wash the, the dishes when I didn't have a dishwasher because I was the dishwasher. <laughs> we don't have a bot. Uh, this is not something I wanted to outsource because first of all, there are tools out there that can give you plenty of information about the boss. Uh, we do have a bot that will, so for example, uh, monster, and then you'd put uh, card or rim. What this bot will do is bring out the boss. First of all, this is what I use it for: is to get the most HD images to use in my thumbnails, videos, and stuff like that. I don't have to look for the images anywhere. I've got all of them here. You can get some information, like primary characteristics and stuff like that. You can pick all of its spells and see what they do. But I don't like this. As just because we have a better tool out there called Defensive. Yeah, Defensive is fantastic. And you, Cardo, uh, Cardo Rim, and then you press Go. It gives you a better view overall. It's less cluttered than a little bot channel. You, it's more airy, first of all, on a web page. You get more information. You get a lot of stuff about dreams, the spells. You can also place the mob in the map and see how the spell looks like. So this is how he summons his rib. So if you block these cells, he can't summon it all of a sudden. This is why I'm not interested in anything because there's already a perfect tool for it called offensive. However, the second part of your question is information about the boss, how to beat it, how it works in more detail. If you don't want to use the Office Poorly Noob, I have already started an initiative, which in retrospect, I realized I thought it was going to be easy, but my proclivities to put everything in there and for it to be uniform and in good order makes it really difficult to do it quickly. So here's what happened. I've done from 1 to 50, all of the dungeons. Pick one at random. If you click it here in the boss mechanics, you will find, first of all, HD image, so you can just copy it if you need to use it somewhere. And then a little write-up that I have come up with from my own experience, knowledge of the game, knowledge of the boss, combined with the offensive for images and more details on spells, their range and stuff like that, which I don't commit to memory. And then you can read up from just looking at this Shin Larva page. I've designed it so that you can close or have the Discord open in another uh, um, screen and be able to do it perfectly comfortably without any difficulties. No need for bots, no need for translations, no need for any added things. You can just come here and get all the information you need while doing your fight on the other screen. And I've added a little section for every single one of them about dreams. These are compilations of facts like the spells that you need to be worried about, or, um, need to keep in mind and stuff like that. But also tips that we've gathered. This is not just me. This is a collective collaborative effort. Uh, tips and tricks from people who have done dreams a lot more than I have, plus myself. So things to be wary of. For example, I'll give you an example. Borket, harmless in its dungeon. Harmless in most situations. But there's one modifier where she becomes hell. 
incredibly difficult. And what happens is you need to know that she's susceptible. Look, she has zero base wisdom and is unsurprisingly susceptible to AP and MP reduction. This can be a lifesaver in dreams. By lowering her AP to zero or MP to zero, to two or zero, she passes her turns. This is the best way to do it in dreams with the modifier that damages in an area uh, anything that receives heals. So, because it's percentage base her heals, and the damage is also commensurate with the heals that she gets or gives, you can get one shot in dreams if you have Borket with the right that modifier in particular. So now, just by reading this piece of text, you can't get this in Dofus Purlenoops, you can't get this in Offensive, you can get this if you know someone who has done a lot of dreams and has spent the time to put their thoughts in writing. And this is my vision for boss mechanics. It's one-stop shop for everything to do with the mobs, the bosses, and also dreams in general, with photos, links, and description, written descriptions. Um, what I realized is it took me about a week and a half to do 1 to 50, and the more complex the mobs get, the harder it is to put all of my thoughts in one place. <laughs> I think I've done one level 200, I think it's war. Let's just stick to the... Yes, so War, for example, is one of those dungeons where I always need visual cues on what to do so I can prepare my turns and stand in the right place. So I've added photos of the images of the weapons he will summon so you know to stand on the white cells before he summons them and how everything about placement, all of my thoughts, everything to do with dreams, the little tips that people have added. And I realized this will not be finished tomorrow or next week or next month. It's a lot of work and I want to do it the right way because it's the kind of things that I do once and that's it. You modify things as they change the rules down the line when Ankama make updates, but it needs to be done once and the right way. And it will not be finished very soon, <laughs> but I'm still working on it on top of everything, the videos, the stream and everything else. Hello, Stro. Uh, well, the Discord is socials. It's up there. And a quick word about the Discord. We are always looking for more people who will enrich this, who will fall in the spirit and mindset that is the reason behind this conversation. We want to create tools, a place for just casual chats, talk about your pets, but also learn about the game, ask questions if you have any. So definitely that profile is always welcome to join the Discord. And I think that kind of profile thrives in this Discord. I think I've talked a lot about uh, the one thing I've done <laughs> that isn't re resembles a bot. <laughs> Don't tell cool. yourself short. Sure, you've got to talk yeah. about the killer mob section next. Killer mob, yeah, sure. Should we do it then? Yeah. Well, that saved my ass uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, was it the Levitroff? It was the Levitroff. Oh! Always it catches people off guard, right? So this is a subsection of boss mechanics and one of three sort of channels that I want to add. The other, the third one is the uh, bounties because I realize uh, there's not enough information out there and it's so niche that people struggle with them generally. And I want to do the same thing as boss mechanic and killer mobs, but for uh, bounties. And I am pleased to say that it was a recommendation from Ferrabl, who said, I want wanted mobs, can you add it? And I said, yes, I will add it. Not now, but I will add it at some point. <laughs> it's in one of my lists of things to do. So, killer mobs, in short, is exactly what it says on the tin. I've compiled a list of every mob in the game that has a one-shot mechanic, and I've added it here. Because it is a one-shot mechanic and can ruin your game, you need to know about it, how it works, and stuff like that. So I've added an HD image again to the thing and a description of what it is that makes him able, it able to give you a, to deliver a fatal blow. This mob right here looks cute. It's a little cat, but when it's in its large state, i.e. gets much bigger, one in every turn, any melee hit is rip. Whether you have five or 20 characters, if it can deal damage to every one of them, dead. What does that tell you? One in every turn it gets big. When it gets big 
it has the ability to kill one shot and also in melee so all the information that you need not to be one shot by this mob there in one line and the compilation is good for pretty much every mob that you see here will have that one sentence I think the most popular one is uh, the Levitroff, uh, which puts that green state, catches you off guard, boom, one shot, one. Who hasn't been one shot by the Levitroff goon? <laughs> Gluta right here has been so many times, and I know because I've spectated some of his fights. <laughs> where he starts with an, a four-man team, and all of a sudden you see the Zellar on its own trying to run around. <laughs> trying to sell. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to know how to not get shot, boom, you come here. Excellent one, um, Eslix. You should pay attention to its HP. It unlocks the spell once it reaches below 50%. Above that, harmless. How do I know this? Because in dreams, I didn't kill it in one turn. And all of a sudden, I lost three of my character. And I was like, what the hell is this all about? <laughs> Why is a Spimush killing my character? So I look it up in the offensive and na 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 Boom. <laughs> Yeah, that one also summons the Diamondine. The other thing I realized is doing this exercise has done wonders <coughs> between this... <coughs> Sorry. Between these two channels and your daily bot Gluto, now it has improved my ability to spell the names of mobs and realize I had absolutely no idea what the name of anything was. <laughs> Thank you, Oti. <laughs> Boom, this is for you, Aslex. She does summon a lethal doll that can swallow you in melee, so it's good to su to stay uh, far away from her and uh, MP reduce her if you can. But in dreams, when uh, you reach a certain level of floors where everything has 20, 30 MP, good luck. <laughs> That's all I can say. One shot of her or good luck. Cool, so you can expect the boss mechanics to be further contributed to... Oh, I forgot to say... Um, there are a few trusted people I've given the right. It's a role called a PVM expert. They have the right to add and contribute to things. These are Leo, uh, Eslix, and Iroda. These people, I know for a fact, have done so much PVM that they are the reference and go-to for niche things. <laughs> just, yeah, just be Iro, not just everything. Finish rooms in one or two turns. <laughs> Shout out to Iro from this uh, platform. Uh, they have the right and they will add stuff here. Depending on their experience, they will add their videos, how to do things. And uh, not everyone can contribute. Everyone can see the channel, but not everyone can put stuff into it. If you do want this role, please do talk to me and I will make sure that you have the ability and competence to add to this stuff. And I will definitely give you the role if it is the case. Boom. Enough talking about the stuff I've done. Gluto, where were we? The only last thing on the Getify, which... The Getify, yes. Which is the prerequisites. Oof, this is exciting. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> it's not in its final state yet. Because okay. it's it's not... I mean, you can give it a go. I don't know what quest you want to do. Uh, it, it uses data from Dofus DB, so if Dofus DB has the information, then the bot has the information. Okay. Uh, I know Dofus DB doesn't have the Sylvan Dofus, for example. So, ooh, so yeah, what does it's... this do? What have I done now? I've put prerequisites and the Ice Dofus quest. What have I? If you click to open it? in browser at the bottom, you'll be able to see it better. Yeah, absolutely right. Boom. Woo! Holy smokes! And then. You can zoom in. Yeah, it's oh. so it, it steps through all of the achievements and the quests to show you all of the ones that you need. Jesus Christ. It isn't perfect yet though, however. <laughs> like it, it it looks like there's a lot more than there is because yeah. the way that prerequisites work is like you need say you need like a, there's a quest chain of like twenty quests. But yeah. each step in some achievement only needs like three of those quests and yes. then another one needs like four so yes. it, it's it's currently prioritizing visuals over re repeated data so you can see mm. just there ice fields on... here and the ice field is somewhere here yeah like yeah. you can see in the town hall crawl that uses the frosty mare yes but it has also... a different a different chain 
from the frosty mare. Gotcha. So it's like, yeah, so that that's mm. something that's a bit of the definitely repeats. I, like you can see it here at the. It end. repeats. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to solve and also have a graph. So we have something cooking as an idea oh, that it will oh, maybe oh. make a uh, <laughs> like a Google sheet for you instead, uh -huh. or like which will just show you all of the chains separately. So instead of it being a graph, it's going to have just a bunch of chains of all of all the quests you need. So you, to complete this achievement, you need to complete all of these chains of quests, oh. which is less helpful in terms of like, if you want to follow the steps. So like, if you wanted to follow the graph, you could follow the graph with this graph, but you would already have completed certain quests when you go through the graph. The, it doesn't work with Sylvan because Dofus DB hasn't added Sylvan yet. Oh, exactly. so the database where it pulls the data, it's reliant on the database, which is Dofus DB. And if Dofus DB doesn't yeah. have your quest, then it won't be generating anything for that matter, <laughs> nothing. For yeah, it's a shame. And also, it, it those those other ones that are bigger than the nice guy one, the mystery, mystery nice guy, whatever yeah. it's called. That it it, it kind of just breaks. Okay, <laughs> once they get a, a once they get so big, the, it just goes off the graph. Like it yeah. it becomes there's a limit to how big the the resolution of the graph can be. And if the know. graph gets much bigger than this one here, it nope. it, it breaks. Sorry, it's no it's better it. used for <laughs> smaller sections. So like, oh. um, let's find an example. Well, let's it, say if you if you wanted ivory, to... for example. I, I mean, I, I use Deep Crimson as an example for a nice, okay, a nice let's, graph. Let's do, it. let's do it. I like to listen to the architect while testing to not embarrass if I go off beast. <laughs> uh, purpur, right. What well, should we pick one of those or what? What are you trying to? do? No, just put here? Deep Crimson in as the as the oh, that's the final. Crimson, that's literally. like the achievement to get it. Oh, yeah, right, okay. and then it will show you all so, of the. So Bagatify. And I want prerequisites for Deep Crimson. Oh, this is good. So yeah, you know so these a... are the foundational ones. Go on, go on, go on, tell us. It, it's uh, wider, it's not as tall. So there's quite, most most of them are like that, where they're, they're mm. a bit wider than they are taller. The ones that get silly are like silver and ivory and all that stuff. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah. think ivory works very well because ivory requires the the graph only generates based off of achievement prerequisites and quest prerequisites, not uh, like levels or you need this um, alignment level or you need this mm -hmm. other item or something. It does it it has the yeah. data, but I, I didn't add them to the graph. Wow. Okay. I see. Yeah. There's you've definitely identified like two or three. Uh, elements where it could improve or like bottlenecks right now issues mm. with generating the information that you want as a definitive answer hello shadow fox how are you doing good to see you um yeah that is awesome the other one i have spotted while using it is uh, bifurcations so these are forks if you're doing no more mystery ice guy there is one big quest where you have to make a decision you're either going the alchemist route or the um baker whatever farmer route yeah. but here it will show you both of them and it creates a layer of a complexity in reading the whole thing like i don't do i really need to do all of these quests no 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 no. you need to make a choice and then it eliminates all the other fork the road and it goes away and you only need to finish the quest in the one that you have selected that is yeah it's it's there. definitely more style over function at the moment uh, i, I okay. don't know if it's solvable because yeah. it's it, there's the especially with user choice. There's no way a graph can you can't <laughs> delete things after it's generated to be like I'm going to use alchemists. It's like yeah, yeah. So I think it's uh, it might just leave it as there, and we'll see if generating a, a sheet or um, just the bunt the bunt the the separated the little clumps of all of the chains and be like you need to just complete all of these chains. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And not yeah. try to connect them together. There is something else I thought about, and I really, really, really hope uh, from everything you've told us today, and if you can see that as a trend happening, I would love for it to be a reality, whereby I can see this tool right here, the achievement chain, Begetify. I mean, the ideal scenario where I'm already losing my mind just thinking about it, get it all excited, <laughs> is if I put my character name and the quest I want to finish, 
and it scans the data of my character from whatever database and it removes the one I have done and it sort of gives me a scheme, a schematic, you know, like a roadmap. Right, single malt, this is your crow, this is what it has done, I know all of this, here's what you want to do, just do these quests in this order and boom, get started. Oh my god, I would love something like that, I would die for something like that actually. I would fund it if it were possible. Well, what comes to mind when you hear that? Well, if you'd asked, if you'd said this yesterday, I probably would have said we definitely need Ankama to make some form of API. What we we can same as like how we're talking about Destiny, where they, mm. you have to create some trusted application where you say, "I believe that this application is okay. That it can read the achievement portion of my information, and then it can give me the data." Yeah. I'd say you definitely would have needed that, but yeah. there is a portion on character pages that includes achievements if you yes. pick a person's um achievement page yeah and i am making something at the moment for testing where it's going to um you're going to give you. it is this the, you meant the conversation you were having earlier about uh you picked up slx's uh uh panda and then you were trying to but the first thing i've realized every link that you've posted there is laggy as shit yes yeah so their if, website's if, not not the fastest if i can't access it and the moment you press on an achievement, it has a similar kind of interaction. How is the bot going to pull any data from it? How is that's it going to be is it? usable that's, that's at the all? Issue. Yeah, like it's. I don't. I think if 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 they give some love to their website, which maybe they will, maybe they will in Unity if they want to do a big advertising push, maybe they'll improve their website. But that's mm. that's going to be a completely separate team, as they were saying before with the forum. They're completely. They'll be completely separate teams. Not the same people working on the game as on the website. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Maybe they'll do, give it some love and it'll be faster. But functionally, like it does have some information about what this character has completed in certain dungeons and certain quests. But like, yeah. but you're only getting the achievements, right? You're not getting if they started an achievement and it's composed of five quests and they've done four, but not the last one. You would yeah, know you that. don't know, do you? There are there's a quest section, but yeah, like it, it's it's got a bit of something there. But I think it's just because it's not meant for this, and it no. barely functions as it is. <laughs> like it's so <laughs> slow. Um, Before you load it, and especially if you use Netflix's Pando, it's done everything. It, one, it lies, and it says it hasn't done everything. And then when yeah. you try to look, it's like, oh no, it has done it all. Yeah. So like it is a bit. Maybe, yeah. maybe I think I'm, I'm going to use it as a, as as a test to see if we can like put a character and see if they've done a dungeon. I'm like, oh, have you finished this dungeon? Ah. Uh -huh as the first test, uh, but I think it's so slow it might be a problem. Sorry, it's too good to miss. They probably outsource the web development to some random guy and will never touch their web page again. <laughs> that is as good as it gets. Long time no CI1, we definitely miss the cynicism. Thank you for that little whiff of it. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I mean, they've 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 got an encyclopedia on their website as well, uh, yeah. similar to how it is in game. And the encyclopedia on their website is him missing like so many things. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, some of the items don't even load, and some of them have missing stats. And yeah, yeah. So I think what they've they've deprioritized the website for now, which is fair enough. I mean, ah yes. Uh, speaking of uh, websites from the last couple on Kama Live I've translated, they've mentioned, especially in the last one, they've confirmed that the forum is getting a complete revamp. As in, they'll put a lot more effort and work into the um, forum, so you can expect that one to jump in quality and stuff like that. But it's not useful for any of the applications we're talking about today, right? Because we're not pulling anything from the forum itself. It's <laughs> it's the databases, it's uh, back the, uh, the stuff where they keep the data. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. there's one possible exception, but we'll, uh, it's not finished yet. Oh, your work? Is that something you're cooking in the background? That's the, that's the Chessy bot that <laughs> we made. Oh, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Is that linked to the forum rather than the Twitter or the actual server itself? Yes. <laughs> like <it's>, there's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's bits of information that you yes. can gather from different places. But, uh... <laughs> that is a perfect answer. Yeah. And 
Is that is that everything for Begetified? I say as if you've just literally mentioned the... Uh, yeah, that is everything. Begetify. Awesome. Ha- very happy with the translate options. The prerequisites yes. need a lot of work, but yeah, it's fun for now. The translate option, I have not found any practical problem with it. I pay attention to accents and stuff like that. You need to put the right thing if you want it to bring the exact item rather than something that is close to it. No problem with it, no grievances. The same for the quest ones. If I need to find the quest, all I need to do is have Dofus Polen Noob untranslated, copy the name of it, and then look in my um, character uh, log, you know, the quest log, what you've done, what you've not done, to see if it's ticked off or you still need to do it. And that is a massive improvement on having to open 34 tabs and compare and <laughs> whatever and find out things that I don't need to know about, like how often they update shit on the English wiki and stuff like that. They update the English wiki? <laughs> They they stopped a while ago, or they <laughs> add the big axes when there's something interesting happening. They will add it, but I don't think they're on it as much as they used to be. Yeah, I, I haven't. I'm still on ten year old content at this point with like dimensions and stuff. So. <laughs> you're fine. But when when I catch up, I imagine I'll be <laughs> sad. Yeah, you're fine for now. Yeah. Did we do uh, a satisfactory tour of the state of things as they are now? Are you happy with it? Quite possibly the best tour that has ever existed. Ooh, let's go. That is high praise. <laughs> that is high <laughs> praise. Which helps us segue into the last bit, which is an entire freestyle where the floor is yours. You tell us about what you're cooking in the background. Now, while I see you converse with people in the Tech Talk channel, you will see that my contributions are rather limited. <laughs> like, like someone who walks into a science lab and doesn't know anything about science. You will not see me, aside from putting little gifts or to just offer moral support and, uh, I don't know, little reactions to things. I don't know what the hell is happening there. Tell us what you're cooking in the background. What are some of the interesting things you're working on that you'd like to work on? Limitations? What What are you doing? Um, yeah, I'm. I'm working on trying to improve the bots. Is the is the is the current one? Try to make him so it doesn't potentially cost me more money, <laughs> which is one of the complaints I did with the graph when it was like, "Here's a big graph of you spending loads of money. Uh-huh. We're going to charge you." But oh, shit, the only yeah. other thing I'm working on at the moment is trying to figure out if you can confirm if someone has done certain achievements for a dungeon. Okay. Which, if that is possible, I might use it as a means for revamping the LFG stuff, because it means that if someone joins your group, then you can use that behavior to be like, have you done this before? Right, right, right. Uh, obviously, someone pointed out earlier that it's susceptible to people who have been leashed through things, so it's not a perfect metric for how good they are True. in the activity. Yeah, but it's better than not having anything is the only, <laughs> is the yeah. only opposite. That, there's a message for you from I want a message of support, I take it. <laughs> you're clearly trying, though. At least the there you go. Around. No, it's for you. You're, you're trying your best. You're adding gifts. Yeah. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Keep you in check, lest you get a big head from all the praise I've been showering you with today. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool that's cool the other thing i've noticed and we can end on this if you have no further thing to add or um, to expand on the email you've received about crossfighter you've noticed something in it the lfg tool a little sentence that caught your attention can you explain to us first of all what you saw and what you thought about that sentence yes yeah, so they've been hyping up this um i don't know what do they call it they call it Cross, like clearly God. party finder is what they're calling it because uh-huh. that's what they put in the email uh-huh. but they've mentioned it on multi- multiple branches of Ankama's products it's not just on Dofus it's not just yeah. on, on on one party finder for Dofus they also are adding it to this tool and I just thought that was quite interesting because it means that they might be developing it for the entire Ankama suite which is Ooh. a very big task and it's, if, if that's the case it's extremely impressive wow so is this like the perfect LFG tool developed by the company itself that is integrated in-game so nobody has to rely on an external tool to find people to join and do things with? That's what that's what their tool they want to... They've, they've said they want to make, right? They, they made a dungeon finder, is that what they called it, years ago? Yeah, that exists the, on Dofus Touch now. How does that work in Dofus Touch? Uh, 
I've not given it too much of a try, but I've seen that it is, um, there are categories, so when you open it, you can see uh, categories of dungeons, so level 1 to 50, 150 to 100, and stuff like that. And then when you click it, you have a list, a drop down of dungeons. I'll just use it very quickly, sorry for that. So it is Dungeon Finder. And then, yes, you can see little groups that form, like, like um, what would you call it? Like registering your interest? You register your interest, you register for a dungeon, and then you click it, boom, and it's gone. And then you get oh, invited you immediately. into the dungeon? No, no, no. It invites you to a group of people who have also registered their interest for a certain dungeon. And it just tells you, group found for Tofu House, accept, refuse, refuse. Does it okay. give you any information on the people that are in the group? No, sadly not. Unlike Dofus, where um, uh, where actually it gives you information on the side about the composition of the group. You can see their images, their levels, mm. stuff like that. It doesn't. It literally just invites you to a group. That's all that happens. So sometimes you will press, press register, like for Tofu, which is a popular dungeon. A lot of people want to do it. You get invited immediately because there's a lot of registered interest. But for others, you register and then you keep doing your thing. And once enough people have gathered that want to do it and register for the same thing, then it groups you up. Hmm. Oh, Erkan has done a lot of touch and he's explained. And you start it for the dungeon you want. And if the game finds four people, you get put in the group. And then yeah. TP to, and then TP to the dungeon for free. That's awesome. That is good. That is really good. Yeah. Yeah. The the only concern of of if you wanted an LFG system to function, mm. it's trying to filter out people that are just trying to take other people for a ride or trying to get leeched or they don't uh, know how the encounter works. It's it's like a universal problem with all LFG systems, isn't it? Like how do you yeah. how do you if you want to do it's not too much of a problem for stuff like tofu or things that aren't don't don't really take a problem that don't really have any mechanics, sorry. <laughs> but like if you go for a, something with a lot of mechanics that can instantly kill you <laughs> or is gonna ruin the entire dungeon by someone doing who one wrong thing. Or is level sixty seven. <laughs> or has never done it before or has like <laughs> Doesn't have got really bad area. gear. Yeah. Like we were talking about how would you how would you implement a gear system like a gear score system like how would you rate somebody's set based on their stats like would that would that be a thing that you could do would that solve this yeah there's loads of loads of problems it's whether or not you want to not do the system because you know of these these issues or you do it anyway just because having it is at least better than not having it yeah an imperfect system remains better than no system at all but the thing is you want to leave a lot of room for personal appreciation of players. There are things, you can't account for everything. You've just mentioned two, gear, uh, area access, skill level. Those are big things that you can't account for using software or code. But the other thing is, is, is the, are they likable? Do I even want to hang out with this person now? Do I have beef with this guy? <laughs> there's, uh, there's an endless number of parameters. You can't account for all of them for sure. So you want to leave the bulk of it, like create a marketplace for people to set shop and others to come and buy products and let them handle it what products they buy how they go about negotiating prices and stuff everything like a free market system but at least make the platform where they can all come and congregate so to speak Oof. we'll see how it how it drops you just i'm yeah. just i worry that if these these problems that we no, they're going to exist if they put people off too much. Like if you go to do a dungeon and someone starts trolling you because they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, it would oh, really like put people off the system. system. Uh, and then well, again, it, you it get just into the it would be a about really bad experience, wouldn't it? Yeah. How do you stop the abuse? Do you flag them? What if someone has beef with you and makes all sixty of his characters flag you for no mm. reason? <laughs> Yeah. But we'll see how they handle it. Hopefully they've got something in place. Like they've maybe got the block system in, in place in general, so maybe that's just gonna be Yeah, and one of the surprises is that it existed in the game for so long. I remember that feature, and they've just scraped it off and not replaced it with anything for a really long time. Which makes me hopeful. I don't I know it's in my nature to generally be hopeful because I choose to play the game, I even pay to play it, I don't care. I get what I get. But also the general trend has been that if they revisited something, they they usually do a better job of it than the last iteration or state of it was. 
Mm. And that gives me hope generally that if the new LFG system kicks in, it will be something at least better functionally than the previous version of it. But I don't know. Remains to be seen. We Cautiously optimistic. Hmm? Cautiously optimistic. Cautiously, yeah. It's <laughs> a good way of putting it. And if you wanted, once they release it, we could do a little review menu. Sit down, use it, and then you just tell us what your appreciations of it from a player standpoint, and also as a developer, how hard, how f how easy, what could be improved, and stuff like that. Do if a compilation want, video of all the times the groups go wrong. <laughs> I mean, Start in a dungeon. Yeah. Ah, there's a cry in this group. Nah, leave. <laughs> I mean, if you're doing any serious dungeon, that's something to welcome with open I just, arms. I just can't play with a craw. Can't happen. Can't happen. <laughs> They're too good for you. <laughs> I require at least two brain cells in my teammates. <laughs> oh, 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 burn. Hashtag burn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. It's in good spirit. Well, if we've not got anything, I'll say thank you very much, uh, Gluto. Chat, I hope you've enjoyed... Um, the embarrassingly long conversation with uh, Gluto. We've not embarrassed him too much, I hope, by asking him personal questions or... Um, we've done a full tour of the bots, what he has been working on, what makes the International Pub special. And if you've not got any questions, the only thing left is to thank him for choosing the International Pub as a home for all of his uh, crazy ideas, all his experiments, the ones that work, the ones that don't, and all future ones. And say thank you very much for being here with us today, Gluto. And we will catch welcome. you around in some sort of voice chat or a rant about how uh, bots are good for the environment and game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. And if please everyone give their ideas. <laughs> give their ideas in. Yeah, I had to slot right. that one in. <laughs> well, she did. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Uh, no comment, sir. But thank you very much. Thank you for being here.